Hey friends, today we're here at Slip and Knits. We're hanging out with Robin as a part of the spinning group here today. So Robin, just give us a little insight of what is spinning. Spinning is taking raw fiber from a sheep and processing it and then putting it into yarn, putting twist into it and then it becomes a yarn when you ply it together. In this group, we kind of have a challenge each month to make a new kind of yarn that we've never done before, so that's kind of fun. Spinning is like playing the piano. You start out with the easy notes, the easy music, and you don't spin like this without lots and lots and lots of practice. It's like you want to play that symphony, but you have to start out with Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> Baby step. Yeah. I started in about 2008 with a drop spindle, fell in love with it, bought sheep, now I have my own fiber business. So why do people spin? Is it for like your the, the craft aspect or is it because they want to make their own stuff or a little bit of both? It's a little bit of both. I mean, I, I've just fell in love with playing with yarn. I mean, when we after we shear the sheep and stuff, you start looking at all the locks and pretty soon I get lost and it's like, I'm supposed to be going through 30 bags of wool and I'm stuck on the first one because <laughs> I'm playing with the locks. We can make our own yarn, we can take and we can um, dye it ourselves, we can spin it into whatever we want and then we can do the finished products. So this is a drop spindle and Robin makes these and so with the drop spindle basically you're going to be putting your twist and stuff in. Basically what you're going to be doing is you're still doing your drafting and stuff, but the drop spindle is putting the twist. So then you, you just basically will get your um, strand in there. And so a lot of times you can put that over your arm or whatever to keep it out of the way. And so we start with fiber. It can be either um, wool, it can be a camelid, you know, like llama, alpaca, musk ox, yak. You can even do dog and cat hair. You can do your own hair if you want. But you can make finished yarn. And so a lot of times you'll start with a drop spindle and then as you get into it and stuff and you want to do it faster or whatever, then you'll move to the wheel. Are you guys always taking new members? Oh, definitely. So if anybody needs um, to find out uh, about our group or anything, they can contact me. My company name is Busy You Farm and Fibers. I'm down in Custer. And so they can just email me and then I'll get them on the mail list and then we meet the um, second Monday of every month except for January and July. We actually have retreats where we go and spend the weekend together and have somebody cook for us while we're spinning. Wow. <laughs>